I like to break things down in a practical manner, simplify things. I, I think that umpires, when they think too much, get in trouble. However you see it, you need to see it. And if you're not sure, then you go with the best thought that you have. Yeah. Yes or no, he did or he didn't. One thing about interference or obstruction, regardless of the level of game you're working, because yeah. they're difficult determinations sometimes, never pass on it. Well, think about locking in even sooner. Once he comes set, lock in now. Just get used to being more aggressive and quicker locking in. If ever you have the opportunity to go to a clinic and use the wisdom and knowledge of instructors that have worked at higher levels, you're doing yourself a disservice not to take advantage of that. One thing about the clinic situation is the fact that you have so much information and oftentimes from a number of different guys. And, and you have a lot of information to process in a short period of time. What I always say is, you go home, you think about it, you give yourself a day or so, and then you try to implement that to your game. Drop down now. Obviously there's gonna be pieces of information maybe you don't agree with, but you take the best things, the things you think you can apply to your game, and you use it on the field, and it's trial and error. Some things will work for you, some things won't. But the major points that these guys and instructors tell you and teach you and instruct you on are there to help you, and it's going to make the game much better. All right, you'll see this on video. We got some slight head movement, a slight dip. Try to keep that head on an even plane, not moving at all. Let your eyes do the work, which you seem to be doing because your timing is very consistent. Obviously, the guys that are, are running clinics and instructing, they have a, a wealth of knowledge and have been places and, and they care about umpiring and care about improving your game and helping you to get to the next level, whether it be a College World Series, a Little League World Series, a tournament locally, whatever it may be. So using their knowledge and their wealth of experience to help your game and, and then obviously applying it to the job that you do on the field. Now I'm looking at your footwork there and that looks a little bit better. I think that whenever you're given information and you need to process that information. And if you know that a certain evaluator in a camp, a clinic, a tournament is looking for a certain thing, then you need to do that. Something as simple as being set for a play or set for a fly ball in the outfield. Don't overthink, don't do too much, don't hustle too much. Just break it down and be simple. And in, in doing that, you're going to be more successful. And if guys are asking for simple things like being set, then you just do the simple things. Guys that try too hard to impress and work too hard and hustle too much, they come across in a manner that they're doing that. They're trying too hard. And, and, and just break it down and be simple. And, and do the things that your evaluators are looking for in a game situation, and you're going to be successful with that. I guess we all have different goals in umpiring. Some guys just want to be good local level, some guys in a national level. But going to a clinic is going to help you get to where you want to be faster. And you're going to have an advantage over somebody who doesn't go and take the time to improve their knowledge and education in umpiring. Seeing them do something, whether it's simple or on a larger scale, and knowing that maybe something that I told them or helped them with has helped their game and they're implementing some of my knowledge in, in, in using it in their game and seeing them be successful with that information. That's what makes me happy and, and, and excited to see.